Good morning friends. In this video, we will solve one of the gate question which is given in 2019. Let me read out the question then we will solve it. Consider the following relations. They have given three relations. Relation P, Q, R and some attributes and tuples they have given for each relation. And they have given one relation algebra expression. It is like expression 1 expression 2 then you have to between expression 1 and expression 2 you need to perform the set difference and at last they are asking if you perform this entire relational algebra expression how many tuples you will get as an output they have given option a as 0 option b as 1 option c as 2 option d as 3 now you need to find which is the right answer then if you see that if you have gone through all my previous videos related to relation algebra like Cartesian product okay and set difference all these things you can easily solve it but the problem with these kind of questions why they will intentionally give these kind of questions in gate exam is to kill your time because if you see that if you need to apply the Cartesian product between P and R how many tuples are there in P is 4 how many tuples are there in R is 4 if I apply the Cartesian product between 4 and 4 I will get 16 tuples am I right and similarly q into r q have four tuples r have four tuples again you have to mention again another 16 tuples so you will get 16 tuples in one relation 16 tuples in another relation then you need to perform the condition checking okay then you will eliminate some tuples then you will apply the set difference it will waste your time a lot and even the rough sheets you will waste because you will hardly will give one or two rough sheets if you solve for only one question for the entire rough shape, then where you will solve the remaining question. So that's why I have taken this question so that how you can solve it in a simple way. Is it clear? Even whatever the explanation I have will give, you can solve it in as minimum as possible also. But for your better understanding, I will solve it in a proper way. But I will not write all the 32 tuples. I will write few tuples. Even without writing those tuples also, you can do it. But as people are new to this subject, so I will discuss in a proper way. So please be patient. And if you know how to solve without writing all those tuples, you can pause the video and you can solve it. If you solve it without any problem, I will be very happy. Okay. Now we will discuss this question. They have given, if you see that they are asking to perform the Cartesian product between P and R, they have given some condition. And they are asking to perform the selection operator and they are asking you to perform the projection operator on attribute x similarly they have given another expression between these two expressions you need to perform the set difference now what is the first thing p dot y is equal to r dot y between the cartesian product between p and r if i apply the cartesian product between p and r i will get x y z y v in the result because if you have three attributes and if you have two attributes in the result you will get five attributes okay now where p dot y meaning is that this attribute r dot y this attribute you need to check whether where they are equal here it is y1 here also it is y1 so you need to take the relation tuples y1 v1 and then this one is done this one and this one because here also it is y1 here also it is y1 so you need to take x1 y1 z2 y1 v1 okay for y1 it is done now if you see y2 you got two tuples so you have to write x2 y2 z2 y2 v3 x2 y2 z2 y2 v2 so four tuples i got because here two here also 2 is matching so these two tuples will be joined with this one these two tuples we will have to combine with this one so we got 4 now they are asking to after applying this one they are asking to apply the condition r dot v is equal to y2 where is this one here it is v1 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 where is v2 here it is v2 so this tuple only will be selected okay from the 16 tuples this tuple only will be selected but i have minimized it into 4 tuples from the four tuples, I got this one. 
after performing this entire one they are asking you to apply the projection on the attribute x if i apply the projection on the attribute x i will get x2 as an output for this relation okay so i will erase the remaining thing now we will solve this part q dot y is equal to r dot y on cartesian product between q and r they are saying so q and r if i do it i will get x y p y v okay q dot y this one r dot y this one they should be equal if they are equal then only we perform the cartesian product so it is x2 y1 2 y1 v1 anywhere else y1 is there no yeah here it is y1 is there so these two also we need to combine x1 y1 6 y1 v1 okay so with y1 combinations we are done we will check y2 this y2 this y2 and this y2 so this tuple you need to combine with these two tuples so x1 y2 5 y2 v3 x1 y2 5 y2 v2 this is done now y3 you have this one so it is x3 y1 y y3 v2 so you got how many tuples five tuples these two y ones with this one so you got two tuples y2 with these two so you got two tuples four y3 y3 okay you got another tuple so five tuples you got with satisfying q dot y is equal to r dot y and they said q dot t should be greater than 2 meaning is that this one okay q dot t is greater than 2 where is the value is greater than 2 this one is not this one is not so you got 6 5 Five, they are greater than two, and um, from that one they are asking you to select phi of x. Phi of x is nothing but x one. If it is x one is repeated thrice, what is the value you will take? Only x one only it will take. But why? You can ask sir why you are not taking three x ones? Why you are taking only x one? As we are applying the projection operator, it will eliminate the duplicate values. X one, x one, x one. They are duplicate, so we will take only single x one. So. For this result, you got x one, and for this one, you got x two. So now, what is the sub difference? It is phi of x. So you have x with x two. Let's say that this is temporal relation t one. This is temporal relation t two, which consists of attribute x and this x one. So this is the relation name, attribute name, and the tuple. Now I want to apply the sub difference between these two. Okay, between these two, I want to apply the set difference. We need to check if I want to perform the set difference, they should be union compatible. What is meant by union compatible? The degree of both of them should be same. The degree of both of them is one only because the attribute in both the relation is one, and the domain should be also same. It is having characters. It is okay. Now, if you have x two and if you have x one, if you apply the set difference, what is meant by set difference? What are the attributes which are present here, but not present here? Means which are present here, but not present here. Those attributes you should take. So x2, which is present but not here, so I will take x2 as the output. So you will get final output as x2. Meaning is that how many tuples you got? One tuple. So the right answer is B for this question. So if you see that even I have taken this much time, but If I want to do that question by myself without explaining anyone, I would have done with less because I will apply both immediately. Because here, if you see that first I applied this condition, I got some tuples, then this one like this I will not do directly. I will apply both the conditions as I am explaining to you. I have taken this much explanation. Okay, I hope you are really enjoying my videos. If you really like them, please press the like button and share the videos with your friends. Give me your feedback in the comment section and subscribe to my channel for regular updates. Thank you so much.